Leslie was telling me that this came from somebody in her family on a trip to Jerusalem. It's marked 925. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. Hearts Alive Village is an amazing non-profit animal rescue here in Las Vegas. And today, all profits from the items you purchase in my haul will go back to Hearts Alive. Please help me support the amazing work they do. Today, I'm back at Hearts Alive Village Secondhand Boutique. And funnily enough, a couple of days ago, my mum said that she'd never been here. So, I brought her with me. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm really excited. I haven't uh, been in here before. Heard a lot about it from Tiff and uh, I've seen her videos of it. So, it's going to be fun. It's going and to be exciting. Yes, I texted Leslie and told her that we were going to be coming in and we're bringing her a few donated pieces to sell. So let's go in and let her know that we're here. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's, let's go, go thrifting. We brought a few pieces in for Leslie to put out on the shelves. Mummy brought in this cookie jar and I brought in a platter and some of you might remember this piece. I just wasn't comfortable shipping it, so I thought it would be an ideal piece to have here. So here we are at Hearts Alive Village Secondhand Boutique. They're open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday, also 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you saw my last video, you'll know what a lovely, lovely store this is. I'll just pan across here so you can get a feel of the whole thing. It's two rooms, this room, and there's a room back there. I'm just noticing this gorgeous artwork on the wall over here. We'll have to have a look at that in a minute. But let's go shelf by shelf. I see Leslie's already put <laughs> our vase up on the top shelf there. It looks lovely. Got some lamps. Really tall glass vases there. They would look beautiful with some Christmas decorations in. Really reasonably priced, seven and eight dollars. You could do seasonal decorations of all sorts. Red, white and blue for 4th of July, red and green for Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, endless possibilities for those. Put more lamps. Some lovely platters here. Oh, that's a pretty painting too. Look at this one. Lots of candlesticks. Some silver plate here. That's Oneida. This one looks like it has a bit more age on it. That's pretty. Pretty little serving tray. Can't see a mark on that. Got some goblets here. Oh, I do like this ladle. Says silver craft made in oh gosh I can't read that it's a nice ladle though isn't it mum can you read what that says mum's next to me we'll see if she can read it this is a William Rogers piece I love the floral design on that Some lovely luster glass here, peach luster. Set of 
four cups. That's a beautiful service piece there. Glass and metal. Got some cranberry glass here. This is a nice set too, only $2 a piece. Down here, we've got some pretty little trinket boxes. These are glass with, it's like silver inside. They're made to look old. And here we have a little set of four ducks. These are napkin um, rings, they're lovely. There's some more little chick napkin placeholders there. Here's some beautiful clear glass. This mirror is gorgeous. I love the roses on that. And here is a set of the dishes I have. I think they're a little more elongated than my set. Beautiful cake pedestal there for seven dollars. This is gorgeous. Look at that candy dish, lidded candy dish. My eye is going to this. I think this is definitely an older piece. Looks like it has a doily in it, doesn't it? That's a really pretty piece. Let's grab that for five dollars. Couple of little cacti wall hangings down there. And pop this up on the counter. There's the canister that mum brought in. Here's one of those beautiful woven baskets. These sell really, really well for me. So let's take this for $4. And look at this pair of candlesticks. Looks like they're made of turned wood. They have, oh, it looks like they have rhinos on them. Look, there is a little bit of damage there. Some cracks throughout here, but I think that just adds to the character. Yep, they both have rhinos on them. Let's take those for eight dollars. Let's pop them in here and we'll set them up on the counter. Mum says she can read it. What does it say well, Mum? I actually had to get a magnifying glass, but it says Sheffield, England. Oh, no wonder I liked it. <laughs> well, let's take that. Yeah. Not sure that will actually make it for sale, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What do we have back here? Oh, look at this. I always check hammered aluminium for Wendell August Forge. that say quinolum hand wrought a lovely cranberry glass bowl back here some canister sets oh that's a pretty cake pedestal as well look at this yes it's like a country farmhouse look to it 
Elegance Ambiance Collection. Is that Target? Not sure. Pretty poppy painting down there too. Let's see. Some more canisters. Okay, let's swing around this way. I have found something. What did you find, <laughs> Mum? Sweetie. <laughs> oh, he's lovely. Isn't Is he a cracker dish? Um I think so. It, it looks like he could be a Oh, for, we could put anything in anything, there. But just one of them. There's That's no lovely. Yeah. Really Definitely cool. has some age. He's got some crazing to him, but look at his sweet little face. <laughs> Let's pop that on the counter. It's a little bird teapot here. Let's see who makes this one. Ooh, this is a Cook's Club piece. I do like the little yellow bird. Look how beautiful this old dresser is. I think I showed it last time, but it's still here. Amazingly, early 1800s dresser, only $250. Oh my goodness, look. Look how amazing this piece is. If I had a spot for that. Look, I just noticed that each drawer locks. That's so unusual. Let's have a look at these shelves now. And this piece that I showed last time, I believe this was a Boulder City Art Festival piece. Amazingly, this is still here. Absolutely gorgeous, almost like a Raku piece. This is really fairly priced at 80. I love the swirled metal little stand. It's on actually their little individual legs. Here's a little silver overlay vase. This one is very delicate too, look at this. It's etched. This one says sterling weighted. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's definitely take this. I love the way the top of the vase turns in like it does. Let's keep going. The little planter here. And a beautiful bohm bird plate. That would look lovely on the wall. And look at this. I just sold one of these yesterday, very similar. This is a vintage ice bucket made by Elmar Manufacturing, Los Angeles, California. The one I sold yesterday has uh, three stripes. had ever such a lot of interest in yesterday's one. So let's grab this. Here we have a little apple. It's a single bookend. That's quite fun. Let's see if this vase is marked here. It's not marked. It's a lovely drip glaze. It's 
some pretty pink ballet slippers here. It's a trinket box. It's quite delicate. I would be a little scared to ship that with the ribbons perched like the, like they are across the top. Here is a little bank and a beautiful plate back there. Let's see who makes this one. This one's just numbered. It says S64. It's not marked. Look like cornflowers, I think. Some more little vases here. Oh, look at this gorgeous pottery piece here. I think this is a possibly a New Mexico piece. Is that a Juarez piece? That's lovely. It's eight dollars. I think we will take that. And look at this little hummingbird picture. Jody Bergsma. It's very unique. Let's pop this. Got some elephant bookends here. Let's look at these. Oh my goodness, they're ever so heavy. Ooh, they have to weigh at least three pounds a piece. $30 for the pair. Those are gorgeous. This is an old fellow. It's a piece of uh, ceramic painted figurine. Oh goodness, look at these. Are they bookends? They're little dragons. It looks like they're fishing. They've lost their poles. But you could easily put a little piece of wire in there. Look, there's fish and a turtle. There's a little salamander, is it, on there? And there's two, so I definitely think they're bookends, but they are dragons because they've got little wings. Let's look at this one. He's also missing his pole. Oh, and he does have a chunk out of his wing there. That's such a shame. Those are amazing. This is a pretty little pot down here. see if it's marked. What's that say? Oh, it's a project piece. Really nicely done by JR. Sadly, it does have a bit of a chunk out of its handle there. A silver plated photo frame. It's very pretty. That's a Goldinger. Lovely milk glass bowl here. Look at the zebra plate. It's huge. What a statement piece. Lots of vases. Oh, I think I have a pair of these. These are, oh, these ones are Rogers, made in Spain. I have some similar ones. It's a picture, this looks like Tiffany and Company. 
Chinese fence for Tiffany and Company. Unfortunately, it is rather crazed. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. <clears throat> Very pretty blue. Goes well with this planter piece. Oh, that is very, very heavy. This would be lovely in a pair with possibly a little white vase here or a pottery piece. Lots of flowers in it. This is Lennox very pretty Lennox made in USA what's this one let's see this one is this one's a formalities by Baum Brothers Gonna have a think about this one. We'll perhaps pick that up. It's an anniversary teapot back here. Fiftieth anniversary. That's gold. Golden anniversary. <laughs> Got some little cherubs around a candle holder. Oh, here's the matching little candy jar here. 50 years. There's a pair of candlesticks. Who makes these? Some interesting vases down here. I like the shape of this one. Well, this is from Living Spaces. This one is milk glass. Milk glass has become really popular again. I love to pair it with cobalt glass in the winter, right after Christmas, after you put all the Christmas decorations away, you can bring out cobalt glass and milk glass and it makes a lovely wintry white frosty display there's a little standalone shelf here it's a pretty little candle holder with applied roses well this is a left in piece that's lovely a fun little wall decoration or it could be a little trinket box or trinket tray rather here are some ship bookends these are really fun these would be fun in a little boy's room a little boy who loves pirates or ships Let's grab those. We are moving into the second room here. I'll pan around so you can see the whole area. Look at this gorgeous dress. Ooh, this is a fun piece. This is really quite old, I think got butterflies some project pieces here pottery it's pretty with the flowers a little trinket tray. What's this? 
Colorado Denver Saddlery. That's interesting. This is a world clock. Gives you the time in different countries. Beautiful fan with a bird on it. That one is only, only $30. Goodness, it's gorgeous. This is a lovely hall table too. Some candle holders, signs, drink dispensers. These would be great for a party, wouldn't they? We are in the kitcheny bits. Pyrex platters. Look at this lovely old spice rack. That's amazing. Nutmeg, allspice, cinnamon, pepper, salt, and cloves. It's fascinating that these were obviously the most used spices back in the day. That is amazing. Some Vegas Knights glasses. These are very, very 80s. I remember we used to have primary colored canisters when I was, uh, however old I was in the 80s. <laughs> a little soup tureen with bowls. These are fun. This is a lovely teapot. I think this was here the last time I was here. This is gorgeous. I think we will pick this one up this time. Another pretty teapot here. This one's made in Japan. Oh, look at this. This is a Heinz tomato ketchup uh, soup bowl collection stack. These are made in England. Bone China Clarence. Here's a sun tea maker. These are cheese, the um, Leaning Tower of Pisa cheese sprinklers. Oh, and these are similar to that lemon bottle I picked up the other day. Soap on a rope. Who remembers soap on a rope? I used to have so many of these when I was a little girl. They were lined up on a shelf in my bathroom and I never wanted to use them. <laughs> All sorts of candles. And oh, look at these. These are fun. Little, are these sauces for soy sauce, I think? Just so much fun stuff. Oh, look at these. Pier One Ramekins, a set of two. And they're only $10 a set. Well, we'll definitely grab those. We'll get those. These are very mid-century. Are they coasters? 
the coasters. Those are great. Let's see. Oh, they're Mikasa. How funny. Here's a lovely chip and dip here. Yeah. Is this false graph? Let's see. Oh, it's yeah. chaparral. Here is a cheese board set with little knives. That's fun. This is a Nordicware bunt pan. I have one of these. These make the best bunt cakes and I love the fluted pattern here. I think I actually have one of these in my inventory. Oh, look at this chap. It's a moose. It's a moose bottle opener. Oh, and he's double-sided. Look at his little tail. He's only a dollar. We have to get him. <laughs> What's this? Cake pop maker. That's fun. A bread maker and a juicer. Popcorn maker, sandwich maker, we love our sandwich maker, I've had mine for years. This looks like crate and barrel, yes that's pretty, pretty little creamer here, it's a pan. Some milk glass, bowls there. Lots of baskets and storage, some salt and peppers. Made in Japan. Little Harry and David trinket boxes. Lots of cards and bags. Some linens over here. Boston University armchair. Fun little desk. We have all sorts of lovely clothes. Leslie is very choosy with her clothes and she only displays the nicest and best condition pieces. She's got some styled with hats and purses here. Those earrings are fabulous. Look at those. Scarfs and hats. All sorts of lovely shoes. Oh, look at this beaded purse, that's beautiful. It's actually sequins, it's not beaded. I love these boots. I think somebody's actually painted those.
I have all my treasures on top of the counter here. This is what we have so far. Let's have a look to see what's in the cabinet. Hello. Hello, friend. There's a little doggy face over the gate. <laughs> Some Capo de Monte pieces from Italy. That's a beautiful little box with a uh, little tassel on it. I think we will grab that for five dollars. Bells. More trinket boxes. vases and decorative eggs here that looks like a hand-painted uh, Ukrainian piece perhaps take that I love this dragonfly piece here we will take that one too Little elephant set more trinket boxes. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Please stay tuned until the end of the video to see all the items I purchased at Hearts Alive Village today. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing in my haul, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. And remember, I am donating all profits from the items I sell today back to Hearts Alive Village. Is that a scarf pin? Leslie was telling me this came from somebody in her family on a trip to Jerusalem. This is a lovely wooden bangle. Lots of necklaces. If you are in Vegas or visiting Vegas, definitely stop in here at Hearts Alive Village second-hand boutique Leslie always has some amazing pieces and her selection is always changing so do stop in I will post the address of the store at the end of the video actually I will pop it into the video right here on the screen so you can see This is an amazing curio cabinet back here. It has curved glass on the front door, drawers and cupboards on the bottom. If only I had room for that. So I noticed this picture painting. As soon as I walked in, it looks like a beautiful English scene. We've got a little spaniel here flushing out a couple of ducks and a big barn farmhouse in the back. It's a gorgeous frame. You can tell it's really, really quite old. It has a little bit of damage. It's actually painted on burlap, so there's some cracking to the oil. A little hole up there, but it doesn't bother me in the least, and this is going to hang in my house. Yeah are amazing finds from Hearts Alive, a second-hand boutique. I will obviously go through one by one during the haul, but I just wanted to show you 
what amazing things can be found at this little treasure of a store. So adjacent to Leslie's store is the Cat Cafe, where you can actually go inside and um, have a cup of tea and a little snack with cats. Look how fantastic this place is. Oh look, that looks like my bandit. Look how fantastic this place is. You can visit with the cats and you have the opportunity to adopt them. This is so cat geared in here. Hello, Pankia. Hello. Hello. They have couches and cat trees and toys and little visiting areas. It's amazing. All sorts of pictures on the walls. Oh, I love this. Look at this. coming yeah. look how pretty you are oh, oh no it's very scary <laughs> strange people <laughs> oh. it's lovely in here hello girl hello hi hi sweet girl So if you are searching for a new feline member to add to your family and you're in Vegas, please come down to the cat adoption section of Hearts Alive. You can hang out in this lovely, lovely room and visit with the cats they have available. Have some tea and a snack and just see if one of the cats here just is the member that you have been looking for. If you would like to purchase an item you see in my haul, please email me at thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item, and the price I mention. If it's available, I will send you an emailed invoice. Please email me your best offer on the items that interest you. I will be accepting the highest offer on each item. I will be gifting all profit from this haul back to Hearts Alive Village and I promise to take you with me. Here on my counter is everything I found at Hearts Alive Village Secondhand Boutique. And just a reminder, if you purchase anything you see here today, all the profits will go back to Hearts Alive Village and I am excited to take you there with me when I go and hand Leslie the check. Bandit is here.
fast asleep in his box. He's completely upside down. First, we have this beautiful little trinket box. It's frosted glass. It's got a gorgeous fan on the top, a lovely teal and gold tassel. It's in lovely condition, no damage. Let me just check the inside. No damage. It's beautiful. Little etched clear flowers on the top. It's by Crowning Touch of Taiwan. It is vintage. I paid $5 for it and I'm hoping to get at least $20. Here we have a lovely little mini pedestal. It's a vintage glass piece. It looks like there is a lace doily under the glass. I believe it's reverse painted in like a rose gold color. It would be gorgeous for little cakes or sweets, maybe truffles. I paid $5 for it and again, hoping to get at least $20. Back here we have our gorgeous, gorgeous vintage ice bucket. It has this lovely design on the handle and at the bottom it has uh, full leather striping. I just sold uh, another one of these. I had many emails from subscribers who wanted it. I paid $10 for this one, hoping to get at least $25. And while we're here, I think I forgot something. Oh, two things that Leslie popped inside here for me. I did. Let's do these right now. We have our gorgeous little moose bottle opener. He looks like he is pewter. Lovely little face. He's double-sided. His tail is on the back there. Yeah, I'm almost positive that he is pewter. I paid just a dollar for him, hoping to get at least $15. This piece had an amazing story behind it. Uh, a family member of Le Leslie's went to Jerusalem on vacation many, many years ago. This piece is vintage. And this is something they brought back. It is marked 925, let me zoom in, 925 there, it does have a slight bit of damage, the base is lifting just a hair right there, it could probably be fixed, but look at the detail of that, silver with little gold roofs, and it is a keychain. Lovely, lovely piece. I believe I paid $5 for it. And I'm hoping for at least 25 to 30 for this piece. I absolutely love the scene on this teapot. There's a little house with lots of snow on its roof two big pine trees and the snow is just coming down it's absolutely gorgeous the lid has a twist locking system i do want to point out that uh, i just noticed that in the bottom there is a crack it doesn't go through to the outside but uh, if it were me i would just use it as a display probably wouldn't use it to make tea. It is a piece by the seller. It's hand painted and made in Italy for Macy's. Just really lovely for the holidays. I paid $8 for it, hoping to get 20 to 25. 
Over here we have one of these lovely woven metal baskets. These do really, really well for me. They are very versatile. You can use them for so many things. They're perfect for the holidays. Halloween, you can put your candy in there or even orange and black uh, glass balls for Christmas. They can you can have green and red glass balls in there or candy whatever you want even use it as a bread basket absolutely lovely i paid four dollars hoping to get 20 to 25. i'm not sure how old this pair is but they are absolutely fantastic bookends molded to look like maybe Spanish galleons. You can see the old green felt on the bottom and look, you can tell where the metal hardened in the mold there. It's absolutely amazing. There are two. The detail is superb. If anyone knows the approximate age of these two, please do let me know in the comments. I paid $8 a piece for them, hoping to get at least 15 to 20 a piece. My mum found this lovely little, I think he's a dashand, little dashand tray, very vintage, a little bit crazed as you can see. Um, possibly a holder for crackers, maybe hot dog, maybe corn. He has a little hole in his tail. I'm not sure what was there, but he is gorgeous. I love his sort of reddy brown mottled colour there. He does not have any mark at all, but he is just a sweetie. I paid $5 for him, hoping to get $15 to $20. Here we have, uh, it looks like a Pazanki Ukrainian hand-painted egg. It's large, sits in my hand quite like that, uh, sort of a goose egg size. It comes with a little wooden stand, sits on perfectly. I paid eight dollars for it hoping to get twenty dollars i am in love with this pair of a wooden turned candlestick candlesticks they have rhino rhinos on them there's his horn rhinos oh maybe that's an elephant it's an elephant and a rhino and what's that? Is that something else? No, oh, I think it's just a rhino and an elephant. Is this one the same? Yes. <laughs> really, really lovely pieces. I did point out that they do have cracks in them at the top and down the side. So if that bothers you, please be aware for me just adds character, tells a story, gives the piece some history. I think they're amazing. I paid $8 for the pair, hoping to get $30 for the pair. These would make an amazing gift for the holidays. They're Pier 1 ramekins in the shape of snowflakes. They're brand new. They still have their ribbons and tags on them. Both sets would be a total of four pieces. Just very unique, really, really fun. Imagine them with creme brulee or um, chocolate souffle, something like that in them. Or you could even use them as little dishes for candy. Red and green M&Ms or whatever you fancy for Christmas. I paid $10 a piece for them hoping to get 20 to 25 a piece uh, to support Hearts Alive Village. 
here we have our fantastic Sheffield England Silvercraft ladle. Let me zoom in on this mark for you. There is the mark Silvercraft made in Sheffield England. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Look at the detail. Similar detail in the handle. I paid $4 for it. And goodness, I don't know what uh, I am going to ask because I am quite fond of this piece myself. <laughs> Send me your offers. This is also an English piece. This is a, I believe, stamped metal frame. It came, then the uh, picture in the middle came out of the top of a tin. My mum says that my nana had this picture uh, on, on the top of a tin of buttons when I was a little girl. So it definitely looks familiar. I think what they do is actually stamp these butterflies out of the whole top of the tin. Absolutely amazing. Lovely detail, lovely picture. This is glass. Got a little hanger on the back. I paid $5 for it, hoping to get $20. Oh, my lovelies that uh, like dragonflies. Here is a super little art glass dragonfly coaster. I do want you to know that it does have some discoloration or scratching on the back. Can you see that? Just a little bit, a little bit cloudy. Doesn't show when it's down on a surface. Just see the lovely dragonflies. I paid $5, hoping to get 15 on that piece. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in any of the pieces you see here, please send me your best offer, Tiffany, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. I will be accepting the best offer I receive on each piece because all the profits are going to go back. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our trip to Hearts Alive Village Secondhand Boutique. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please send me your very best offer to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. I will be accepting the best offer I receive on each item because all of the profits are going to go back to Hearts Alive. Once all the money is in, I will calculate the profit I will issue a check and together we will go back down to Hearts Alive and present our lovely Leslie with the check. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned for a couple of minutes of footage of Ziggy, Bear and Bandit and I will see you next time. Bye! Somebody is very, very sleepy here next to me. Hello, precious. Hi. Hello. Okay. 
Over here, we have an equally sleepy bear. Hi, bear. Hello. Hello. Oh, goodness. He's very, very tired. Very, very tired. Did you have a good run this morning? Did you chase your ball? Will you come to see? Come to see, Pam?